Hello everyone, today I have another fall video for you. I've been doing some shopping at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Hobby Lobby here and there since the month of what, July probably. So I wanna share with you some products that I purchased. I have decor, beauty products, and a few clothing items. So if you're interested in seeing what I purchased, stay tuned. All right guys, so I guess we could just start off by talking about some clothing items that I purchased. So the first item I'm gonna talk about is one that I have on today. So it's like this nice, it's sleeveless, pumpkin orange sh shirt. See here, sleeveless. I like shirts like this that are really simple because you could easily just throw on like a denim jacket, you could dress it up, you could dress them down. They're really light and they're pretty easy to style. This one is by Saltwater Lux. It's $12.99. Like this, another orange shirt. And it has the sleeves that like puff out at the at the bottom. Really soft and comfortable. So this one was $12.99. The next shirt is by Rachel Zoe. This is $12.99. This is like a mustard, yellow mustard shirt. As you can see how the, the arms kind of flare out right in here. Another top you could wear with some denim jeans. You could dress up or down. All right, two pairs of pants that I picked up. One is from, let's see, this is from Joe's, Joe's Jeans. So here are the jeans. This is a skinny jean, as you can see. Now, this was, what price was this? I can't remember how much this called the regular price was, but I got it on sale for $15. And I picked this up around like July at TJ Maxx. I know Joe's jeans could be a little pricey. So when I seen it for $15, I definitely had to grab it because it was a really good deal. Um, the next pair of jeans I got was from Blank NYC. These were on sale as well for $20. The regular price at Marshall's was $29.99. I know it. I know the brand Blank NYC can be a tad bit pricey, not as, as pricey as Joe's jeans, but uh, when I saw it for, tw wait, this was $12. Just kidding. This was $12. There's like a tag, a sticker on top of a sticker. So I paid $12 for these jeans. So $29.99 to $12. Um, so yeah, these could be a little pricey too at stores, but I don't think as pricey as Joe's jeans, but $12, such a good deal. So this is a mid-rise skinny jean by Blank NYC, $12. And they're animal print. It's a light denim, but it's animal print. So I definitely want to wear this with a nice black top or even like a black sweater. I think it'll be really cute. Maybe some nice boots as well. I didn't pick up a lot of decor, just a few because I already have a good amount. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up like some pumpkins and like flowers. So my plan is to make a wreath. So here what I have for this door right here so we'll see how that turns out I might do it tomorrow but these are what I purchased I want to jazz it up a little bit make it a little glam so I purchased this heavy loaded glitter acrylic um I don't know paint or something whatever this is what is it it's glitter so uh this is what I purchased I'm, I might just dab it on the pumpkins i do have some silver spray paint so i might use that as well so no gray spray paint so i might use that as well so we'll see i bought this reef it's a pumpkin reef this is what i'm going to use to put the flowers on hopefully it turns out okay you'll find out again it'll be on the door if it does work out so we'll see also picked up one pumpkin i like pumpkins that light up so i bought this pink one at i think this was at yeah it was at marshall's for 14.99 i plan on putting it behind me so i didn't have to buy batteries for it or anything like that so i was happy about that it's a glass pumpkin All right, so let's get into some beauty products. So the first thing I'm gonna show you are some brushes. So I picked up the Smashbox Camera Ready Double Cheek Brush. This was $14.99. And I'm so into like cheek brushes and powder brushes. Those are like my favorite things to buy. So here, 
that one is when these first came in i really wanted to purchase one but they were just they're a little bit pricey so i'm like oh, we'll wait on that and i'm glad i did because i found it at marshall's and this oh tj maxx i found it at tj maxx and i found another one that is a sheer powder brush and this was for 17.99 so this is a little bit a little bit more pricier but again compared to the regular price it's a deal so here it is that's the powder brush i don't think i ever tried the dazzle shadows from from mac so i purchased one i like the color it was 5.99 it's like this beautiful shifty gold to green. It's really interesting. And I thought it was like a perfect one for, a perfect shade for fall. So here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. it feels really creamy. And there's the shadow. That's really pretty. I could have used this today, actually. It's really pretty. I forgot to mention another brush. So I found the NARS Yachio Kabuki brush. I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, but excuse me. Um, this was $14.99. I think they still sell this um, on the NARS or Sephora website. But this is a like really popular brush at one point. Use it for a lot of things, especially a cheek brush. Especially for like blush, but here it is. Let's talk lashes. So I have this pair of Velour lashes. It was $5.99. They're not too thick. They're really light lashes. And I picked up the Bite Beauty Midnight Mood set. It's a trio. So here is how the box looks. Now, sometimes these makeup products, you might not find them at TJ Maxx and then all of a sudden they pop up. It happens a lot. Like I might snooze on one product and then I'm like, oh, I should have bought it. And then it pops up back at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and then I get it. They're three creamy matte lip crayons. I'm gonna swatch it so here's that. Oh, this is a nice bright red. Oh, that's pretty. These are perfect for fall. Oh, that's a pretty color. Then we have this one here. I literally like all these shades. These are beautiful. Now this product, when it came out maybe six or seven months ago, I saw it, I was just like, oh, it's pretty. I kind of want it, but I don't want to spend $50 on it. I'm pretty sure it might pop up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and it did. It is the Marc Jacobs Cafe Omega Times 3 palette. This was $19.99. It was the regular price was $50 and had a feeling it was going to be at Marshalls. I just, and it did. I'm just, it just pays to be patient and wait. So here it is. The packaging is beautiful. Here it is. Now I bought the second shade because it was a little deeper, the bronzer. Now I know a lot of people weren't a fan of the highlighter. I heard it was subtle, but I want to try it and see how I like it. The bronzer. Oh, it smells good. It smells a little sweet. The bronzer and blush feel really smooth. Yeah, you could tell it's a soft highlighter. That is pretty. I can't wait to use this palette. The last thing we're gonna talk about are nails. Now, you guys know I like polishing my nails, but sometimes you wanna have a little fun with your nails. You know, you want them a little bit longer, more edgier. So I've been really into the Impressed Press On Manicure Nails. So I picked up two from TJ, was it TJ Maxx or Marshalls? TJ Maxx. Um, I have tried this before around my birthday. I had these on and one popped off maybe because I didn't add enough pressure, whatever the case may be. But they last for a good amount of time, at least maybe seven days, eight days. 
after that one pop-off incident but i really do enjoy these i do have them on today you have a spider with a little rhinestone one with glitter one with a little spider these are the ones that are like they have like the sticky tab so you don't need glue but i did add glue to these now i really feel like it depends on what you're doing the application on how long they last because one of my nails did pop off well after three days it popped off which is not bad so it popped off after three days um again i was doing a lot of cleaning you know doing a lot of stuff around the house but i was just able just to pop them back on these are the type of nails if you have like a special event you're going to or you are you just want some fun nails on for a few days these are the ones you will buy because they can last up to seven days depending on the application and like what you're doing but i really like them they have the most prettiest designs as you can see i plan on wearing this one this month it has like these beautiful red rhinestones and this has like lace and flowers it's really cute that's the rhinestone one. it has glitter fun is that one so this one was $4.99 and this one is $3.99 these have really been fun nails for me one that I purchased from Target um this is like the couture line I guess I'm trying to see these are couture as well I don't know if these are the couture these are the limited edition ones this is the couture line I think I purchased the last one but they're like these fun black rhinestone nails by the same brand so these these the regular price on these can range from like six to like nine dollars but these were 8.99 i think because they're more like you know couture they have like the rhinestones Let's see if you can see that they're definitely fun like if you plan on having if you plan on doing something and you want some fun weekend nails I would definitely give these a try and it just depends on the application how long they last if one pops off just put it back on glue it on and you're good to go all right guys that completes the video i hope you enjoyed it if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button like and comment and i'll see you in the next one bye